Tracy, you're the woman of the hour, right? I mean, you did this boat trip. Yeah, and it's quite weird seeing it up on the big screen, I have to say. Is it, it yeah, was that really different for you? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I've seen television interviews with me and uh, the girls and, you know, we, we've seen footage, but the way that Alex has found all this amazing footage that we've never seen some of it and I think combined with the interviews that he did with us, which were pretty full on and uh, very exhausting, you know, we all came out of the, the interviews going, wow. Um, I think the combination has worked really well and the finished product, I. I could never have dreamed someone would do something so amazing. Well, yeah, I heard you had like four years to get all the footage together. Yeah, well, two years to find the footage. And then when they found it, I mean, I, I have learned bits and pieces of this as, as we've gone along because we've sort of worked together. Um, you know, they had to piece this footage together literally like a jigsaw puzzle, um, you know, almost frame by frame, which, I, you know, it was a labor of love, I think, for them. Um, and, and they did such an amazing job. So which was scarier, the boat or Hollywood? Hollywood. <laughs> I think I understand that a lot, yeah. See, when I'm on the boat, it doesn't matter what I look like. Here, I'm a bit more like, Ooh. Yeah, I actually used to sail a catamaran, so. Oh, okay, well, you know what it's like. Yeah, just hang on. Yeah, uh, that would be my main, you know, golden rule. <laughs> duck the boom. Yeah, absolutely. Hang on, duck the boom, try not to puke up. Yeah, yeah, that's it. There you go. <laughs> so, um, what's next for you here? Is there another stop, or it opens in June, correct? Uh, so, the, uh, the movie yeah, opens uh, at the end of June, uh, 28th of June. Uh, in the meantime, we've just rescued Maiden, our, our old boat. Yeah, um, she's back on the water, and she'll be on the west coast of the States in August this year. Oh my god, are they going to try and race it again? Uh, we're not racing her. She's a bit old, like me. <laughs> she needs a bit of TLC, like me. Um, but she's just completely restored, and we're sailing around the world to raise money and, and uh, awareness for girls' education. Oh my god, that's amazing. Are, are you going to get the original 12 girls? No, we, we all are off doing different things, but I, I'm running the project and they've all offered to, to help crew the boat at some time. And every girl on the boat was inspired by Maiden and she's now helping Maiden to sail around the world. So it's a great story and it's all about women's empowerment. It's about women helping girls and women helping other women. Oh my God, I want to follow you a lot. Can you um, give us your... Um social media and stuff so we can keep track of where Maiden is? Yeah, absolutely. So it's at Maiden Factor. Maiden Factor. Yeah. Oh, okay, and is there a personal one for you? Uh, I'm at Tracy Edwards MBE and there's no E in Tracy. I love it. <laughs> okay, now I got some behind the scenes. I heard something about a wheel of cheese that was hidden on the bow. Jeez. <laughs> you know, I only found out of it that's about 25 years later. So... <laughs> So we were having one of our sort of reunions and um, I, they, they were laughing about something. I said, what are you laughing about? And they went, well, we think we might be able to tell you now. We, we, you know, we, we think that knowing your temper might have calmed down a bit since, you know, so, since then. So I said to them uh, during one of the legs, the boat's got to be really light. You know, I don't want too much weight on the boat. So Joe said, can we take some cheese? I said, well, you can take a little bit of cheese, you know, for a couple of days. So she said to, um, to Tanya, who's Dutch, and the Dutch do cheese. Oh, yeah. yeah. So she said, go and get me some cheese. So Tanya came back with a round of cheese like that. <laughs> and Joe, instead of, you know, Joe talked to the other members of the crew and she said, what do you think we should do? And they said, hide it. <laughs> so they cut it up and they hid it all over the boat. And about two weeks into that leg, I was going, good Joe, this cheese is lasting really well, isn't it? And she was like, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, and I, and I never clicked anyway so there you go the cheese uh, i love this and nobody caught them on film hiding it right <laughs> no. oh well that's good then you got a real behind the scenes story thank you so much i enjoy and thank you for doing all this thank you so much i really appreciate it hi we're here with one of our favorites sharon and can you tell me i know you're here to support how did you hear about this film i got an invitation from a wonderful gal named Allison Jackson who does a lot of work with female filmmakers. She was our publicist with Women in Film and I wear in the Women in Film Foundation for years. But what made me say yes to the invite was that my family, one of our earliest activities together was sailing in a lake in North Carolina. 
So that right away got my interest. But that interest years ago led me to scuba diving. And when I became a scuba diver, that's when I became very passionate about ocean conservation because I saw 20 years ago the dead reefs that we are now all talking about. And anything that brings attention to what ocean health means, what the power and the responsibility uh, that we have to maintain a healthy ocean, how it is our future, why these women that are working and pulling together uh, as a team uh, in Maiden are also what we're going to have to do to protect the environment that they have committed themselves to and we'll, the oceans will be our future. They are telling the tale of the, of the health or, or the um, ill health of the planet and they are the key to many many things whether it's medications that will be deriving from the ocean uh, so that's why I'm here tonight. And I think eventually they'll be our main so uh, food source as well. Well, they have been for a while, but of course the pollution of that ocean with mercury and climate change and, a, and the big one that we can all see, because, because we can see it, we can, we can understand it a little better, which is plastics. The things we can't see, like the temperature rise by, by mere three degrees, but that is what's killing off certain kinds of plankton and that is what is the, is the food chain, uh, the, the basis of the food chain. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you for coming and supporting this and talking to us about this. All right. I'm looking forward to seeing the film. And then you were saying you were doing something with some kids and taking oh, them to the right. beach? I'm on the board of Heal the Bay. I'm on the, I've been on the board of Heal the Bay, which is a, a Los Angeles, a Santa Monica. But, but it, we protect the Santa Monica Bay, which is a, yeah. from Malibu all the way to Palos Verdes and uh, Long Beach. And we, uh, we bring school kids in from inland who might never have seen the ocean otherwise. We, we uh, with our supporters, find ways to transport the kids in, and they go to our aquarium, which is at the base of the Santa Monica Pier. That's a global destination now. And that aquarium opens the eyes to these kids. They see the power of the ocean, but they can, can see the, the life that is existing below the surface But when they come to the aquarium. And hopefully that work translates into their being conscious about protecting it and maybe even um, dedicating their lives to careers that will uh, maybe change and then reverse some of the problems that we're experiencing now. That's the future. Okay. Oh, God, that's amazing. Um, okay, so you're so busy with this. Do you have anything coming out for us to look for? All right, go. where do I start? Um, a new series with Kirsten Dunst on Showtime. Cool. It's called On Becoming a God in Central Florida. A new series for Apple called um, Home Before Dark. And a Christmas movie on Hallmark called Mary and Bright. A lot of things. A lot of things. Of course you have Hallmark. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so for my audience, go ahead and give us your social media so we can keep track of what you're doing. Thank you. Uh, at Instagram, I'm Sharon E. Lawrence. Oh, I almost forgot Criminal Minds. I'll be back. I was in season 14. I'll be back in season 15, the final season. Uh, you'll, you'll see that all over my Instagram right now. Um, and then Twitter is just Sharon Lawrence. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Enjoy the evening. Thank you very much. So we are here with Alex, and he is the director and producer of Maiden. Tell me a little bit about be directing this film. I know it's a documentary. It looks pretty energetic. Well, uh, it was a wonderful journey. Uh, I, I first met Tracy, I think, five years ago now, um, when she came to give a talk at my daughter's elementary school. Um, uh, it's, uh, I first met Tracy five years ago when she came to give a talk at my daughter's elementary school and I knew straight away that it was an incredible story that she had and, and she was a, a remarkable woman. Uh, I've been very lucky to have Tracy in my life these last five years. It's been a wonderful journey. Uh, it's been a real pleasure to make the film. Um, uh, we've been on our own journey uh, in making it. We found it difficult to, to raise the funds but, but we persevered. We didn't give up just like Tracy didn't give up. And I think the results are, are well worth all of that effort because it's a beautiful story. It recognizes this incredible achievement of these women. Um, and hopefully it'll inspire a, another generation that if they really commit to something and they believe in themselves uh, and they don't take no for an answer, they too can achieve their dreams. I think that's a really good message to put out there, actually. Um, I, if you could describe it in three words, what would it be? Uh, I would say... This is a movie that is exhilarating, 
uh, it's uh, uh, uplifting and it's inspiring. I love all of that. Okay, now I always ask people because everybody outside of Hollywood wants to know what goes on behind the scenes. Any fun stories you could give me? Well, uh, one of the uh, craziest things about this, this, this film was that we had to find the footage to, to make it out of. And uh, uh, they had had cameras on board this boat the, uh, as they went around the world and they had done lots of filming. But at every stopover they had just given the tapes away to other people and they had got scattered to the four winds. So we spent literally two years tracking down material and it was like a jigsaw puzzle trying to piece all that back together because only when we had enough pieces of the jigsaw puzzle could we see the whole picture and work out how to tell the story. Oh my god, that's, that's challenging as a director I would think. Well, it's challenging, but it's also a lot of fun, and, and, and it's exciting because every time you find a new piece of the jigsaw, you get excited about, about that's a different way you can see the story. It brings it into a different focus, so, so it was a really exciting and interesting way to, to make it. It's a wonderful film. People who go and see it will, will find their life enhanced because the, the, the meeting Tracy as a character through this film is a wonderful experience. And she has a big lesson to teach us all about, about following your dreams, about never giving up, about, about just really being the best you can be and then good things will happen. Not necessarily what you expect to happen or want to happen, but good things will happen. Uh, and I think that's just a tremendous message. Well, thank you so much and enjoy your evening. You've earned it. Thank you very much. Thank you. I really appreciate it. You were the producer on Maiden. What was that like? Um, it's been an amazing experience working with Tracy um, and Alex on the film. It's been a, a long project. We've been about four years in the making, um, but just they're a brilliant team and just an inspirational story. So we're really glad that you know it's, it's coming out end of June. And can you give me a quick synopsis of the story for my audience? Yeah, no, the, the story starts it's with Tracy um, and it's the 1989 Whitbread Round the World Yacht Race. Tracy's the first, first skipper, first female skipper with an all-female crew. So it's the first time they go in and it's their, their adventure and what they achieve. So that means filming on water. How was that like for a producer? Well, it was a documentary. As Tracy had actually, um, one of the crew members, Joe, actually filmed a lot of the stuff in 1989. So we actually got quite a lot of archive footage of them sailing. But um, yeah, it's good. It's good. Yeah. Any little behind the scenes stories you can talk about? Oh, uh, it can be fun. Yeah, oh no, I mean, there's a lot of fun in the film. It's kind of like, yeah, they're just generally as the girls, they're all kind of a group of 12 of them going around. So, yeah, there was a lot of. A lot of, yeah, pranks and things like that. They weren't, there was rations with the food because of the weight for the boat. So they had really limited kind of luggage and things they could take. But what the girls did, which Tracy didn't know, was that they all liked cheese. So they hid a round of cheese in their clothes and things like that. So as they went round, but yeah, it was like little treats and things like that that they needed to keep going. Well, see, now that's a really good behind the scenes story. <laughs> So tell me your social media and the film social media. The film social media, it's www.maiden.com. And what's your personal social media? Uh, we are newblackfilms.com. That's so cool. Thank you so much and have a good evening. Thank you. I'm, I'm fascinated to just watch the film, see what they're doing, what they did. It's, I think it's just in power of, of the courage they have. I'm a woman. I came here uh, on my own. I also have the same spirit uh, just to open the doors for all of the women and, and show our brilliance to other people and show our courage, our, our inspirational spirit, show our power, our love to other people. That's why I'm here. I'm just curious to see the film. No, and you're really good at supporting people. Thank you. What are you up to now? I know you're up to a million things. I just finished a movie with uh, Mickey Rock, and I play a princess. Also, it's about strategy of how intelligent women should be. And also, I'm, I'm starting to um, getting ready to direct and start my own movie to empower women. That's something I think uh, all women should do, like telling your own stories. And because my journey is so and difficult and so joyful and so exciting so I think it's a great great time for me to tell my own story to inspire the great spirit and woman. I agree. Yeah? Yeah. So mm -hmm. what's your social media? Oh my social media please follow me at I am Berlin Instagram and because I give fat free sugar free cookies and real Berlin on Twitter and official Berlin dot com of course official Berlin on Facebook. So if you're Chinese follow me on Weibo Berlin Weibo. So I'm very excited for the film, so I hope all of you are going to check it out. I'm excited to see. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for watching.
watching major film events and you keep watching because you never know where we'll be next.